In this video, I'm going to go over the Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork menu in Il Adobe Illustrator. I'm using Adobe Illustrator CS6. This also works in CS5 and CS4, and it's really quick and easy way to adjust your colors. Um, first thing I'm going to do is select the objects that I want to change the colors of. In this case, I'm working with three logos, and I'm just kind of experimenting with color at this point, trying some different colors out, see what they look like versus the yellow, blue, green, and red green designs. So I'm going to select those first of all with my selection tool. I just selected the three by holding shift down or you can click and drag to select them or you can just choose select all to select them all. And I'm going to go up to edit, the edit menu. I'm going to go down to edit colors and I'm going to choose recolor artwork. Now keep in mind all of these menu options will edit your colors so you can go through those as well but Recolor artwork is kind of like the steering wheel for the rest of these, so it's kind of guides everything. It's a, kind of an all-inclusive stop right here. Um, so you see my three designs right there. I'm just going to cover up the yellow in a little bit, um, but I'm starting with this recolor artwork dialog box. I have a drop-down menu in the top, and this drop-down menu has a bunch of presets already set for me. These are already loaded. Doesn't matter how your Illustrator set up you should see these already. So it's got complementary, actually a couple options for complementary. You've got split complementary and, and so on, down through high contrast and pentagram at the bottom. So these are all presets, takes the guesswork out of selecting your colors. Now it's basing that color that it's starting with off of the yellow color of the sun most likely. Um, so that's kind of an automatic thing. It just selects a color. Let's say I want to go with this red though. Let's say I'll rather start with a red color. I have to have red in my design, let's say. Um, I'm going to click on the red that I want to select. And in this dialog box, I'm just going to click on it again. It didn't really take when I clicked on it. I'm going to click on it again. And now you see this box over here is red. Now I have to do one more thing because this active color is still yellow. So it's still basing all of these menu options on that yellow. You see the yellow to the left. All these um, color schemes are based off of that yellow. So what I'm going to do is with that red in there, I'm going to click it again. The red's in this box. I'm going to click it one more time in the box. And it changed everything, but don't panic. Um, it did change everything, but now that red is over to the left. So all of these color schemes are now based on that red. Th that red was in the, or that yellow base color was in the sun. Now you see that that sun is now red. Um, so now if I click on these different color schemes, it changes my artwork really easily, really quickly. Um, I can bring this down and see different color schemes that it chooses. So this is a really nice, quick, easy way to automatically change your color schemes. As with many things in Illustrator and, and Photoshop and it, other Adobe programs, automatic things are not as easy con to control. But I found this, this menu, it gives you a lot of control if you dig down into it. For example, under current colors, it had the current colors of my artwork set as um, green, red, yellow, and blue right here. Yellow, green, blue, and red. I mean, I should start from the top. Um, these are my current colors, and it chose seven of them. And the new colors, it's replacing the yellow with red. It's replacing the green with purple. It's replacing the dark green with dark purple and the blue with light green, and so on. So you can change those colors a bit. You can change it to be a tint or a, a scale of a tint um, if you want to do that. I'm not complete control, but a little bit of an adjustment there. Um, I'm going to go back up to um, up here, though, under preset. Right now it's under custom preset. I'm going to change this to one color job. So let's say you only have one color you can work with. I'm going to hit that and hit OK. Now it changed to that red color because I chose that as my primary color. I said I have to have red in my design. And it's making this a one color red logo. If you choose two color, it's changing that to a two color red job. So now I have red and purple based off of this color scheme which has red and then purple right next to it. So the second color is going to be the second choice in your design. And if you change that, it changes the color choices. Uh, let me go up to a simpler choice. This is red and yellow. So you see that it changed the whole design to red and yellow. This is a triadic color scheme. So all the blacks are changed to yellow. 
So you don't really have full control yet, but you have some control. Three color job, three colors, and so on. Um, now if I click back on color harmony, it goes back to where it originally was, and that's the three colors are changed to three different colors. Um, I'm going to go up to here, up here, excuse me, to edit colors. So this is where you kind of dig into it and you can adjust your colors even further. Um, and I really like this menu a lot. You can change your color wheel look to be a segmented color wheel or you can do this, do this color block mode. I personally like the color wheel as it comes in and so you can just leave it as default and in most cases that works. Um, and with this color wheel as default, I'm going to select that red color. That red color is right here. You see the dark circle around that red color and I'm just gonna click and drag that red color and let's say I want to instead of my primary color being red I'm gonna change it to green now you see the green changed in all of my color schemes on the left hand side all of my colors are now green and the other colors changed as well so it kept it as a triadic color scheme but it changed that primary color so it makes no sense for that Sun to be anything except yellow and so you could quickly change that to a triadic color scheme and still keep your yellow color if that's the color you want to stick with. Um, so if you want further adjustment to this, you can drag the colors in and it makes them more of a pastel look. It actually is adjusting the colors to be light, lighter. So the color setting as I have it now is showing the saturation and hue on the color wheel. If you click down here, show brightness and hue on the color wheel it will let you change from darker to lighter so you see that you can add black to the design by clicking on that little button right there um, so again this is the lightness this is white adding white or taking a white away and this is adding darkness or black to the design you see the changes you can make there now further change that you can click on this little link button this will unlink the harmony so it's, I'm kinda of getting out of my color sets that I've set here I'm unlinking those and I'm kind of guessing with my with my work here and I'm just kinda of randomly selecting colors now this might be a little bit out of what you want to do because this is kind of a protection ha having color schemes but if you want to choose custom colors and change them quickly this is a nice way to do it um, right here in this dialog box um, so I'm going to click back on link and change my colors back to a different color scheme and that will reconnect them so that it is actually a color scheme that I'm starting from. Um, so that's just a few things you can try out. Quickly changes your colors and I'm going to go back to assign. You can see you can quickly choose through the, the drop down menu or under edit colors you can choose under the color wheel. Um, one very small minor last note you can also choose a color scheme or color group to base these off of these are swatches so if you have a specific swatch set usually it would be a user defined swatch set you don't want to go out of your swatches you can choose that there and in most cases you don't need that but you can if you if you're working with web colors for example you might want to limit to web colors um, and that would be under the swatches right here just choose web and that limits you to web colors so you don't get outside of your realm so just hit OK when you're done. You've got the preview there. Um, you can check recolor artwork if you don't see a preview. Um, most cases you will see the preview and quickly and easily you can change your colors from point A to point B in just a few clicks.